Hello and welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Sunny. Today we're going to be making some spiced lamb burgers with a lemon garlic aioli, pickled red onions, and Munster cheese. Okay, so we're going to start by toasting some spices to add to our ground lamb. We're going to start with a tablespoon of mustard seed. Straight into a cold pan and we're going to do a teaspoon of cumin. And now a half teaspoon of chili flake. Jordan! Okay, now just turn on your pan on a low heat. We're just gonna toast these spices. Give them a little mix and then just leave them be. Okay, so now we're making our pickled red onions to go with our burger. So I have a half cup of water here. I'm gonna add another half cup of red wine vinegar to make one cup of liquid. Now straight into a small pot. I'm just gonna get this warming up, medium heat. We're gonna add two teaspoons of salt to this. Kosher salt. Now we're gonna add two tablespoons of honey. Straight in, maybe two and a half. Now while that's coming up to a boil, we're gonna start slicing our onion on our mandolin. Just take off the bottom, just the very top of the top, straight in half. Just remove that outer layer of the peel. First try. So you could use a knife if you wanted to slice these. The reason I use a mandolin, this very dangerous tool, is just because it's consistent every time. And if you're pickling something, you want it to be the same size. So I would recommend using one of these, but if you don't have one, just use a knife and just start slicing. Go a tiny bit thinner on that. Other onion. Now you just want to pack these onions into a tall container you want it to fill all the space so you don't have to pour so much liquid over it. Something like this kind of quart container is nice, but just use whatever you have at home. So just every few minutes, just give your spices a little toss just so they toast evenly. Okay, our liquid's about to boil, so we'll do this in a second. Okay, so now our liquid has come to a complete boil. Off the heat and just straight over your onions. If you need to press them down a little, as long as they're just covered. That'll do. Now we're going to leave these to pickle. Okay, so I'm going to stick these in my blast cooler, AKA the state of Colorado in the winter. I just pop them in the snow right there. Some snow around. We'll cover the top so the snow doesn't get in. And that's it. Okay, so these spices have been toasting now for about 12 minutes, just over a low heat. The fragrance is beautiful right now. It's all coming out. So I'm going to mortar and pestle these into a powder. It doesn't need to be too fine, but you want to give it some work. It makes a crazy sound, huh? When you're using a mortar and pestle, you can't just you're pressing down and it, you're grinding in a circular motion around the edges. And then you can go ahead and do a little bash and then just go back to that grind. But this circular motion, and I'm also pushing hard against the edges and bottom. This is what is going to make a powder. It takes a bit of elbow grease for sure. So that's good on the grind. We're going to go ahead and add this to our lamb mixture and begin to mix. Just get that all worked in. Mm, it smells amazing. This is really going to help just take your lamb burgers to the next level by toasting your own spices. Seems like a small detail, but it's important. Trust me. Okay. So we're just going to cut a little parchment to mold our burgers. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Just take a nice slice of that. Go ahead and cut that into three. Cut these in half. Now lay three of these down. I'm gonna divide our pound of ground lamb into three and just roll it into a nice ball with your hands. Straight down onto the parchment. Get your next burger. So now with your other piece of parchment, just place it on top. Press down a little. Now you can take any kind of little side plate like this. That'll work fine. Put it on the burger. Press all the way down. And you actually have a very nice looking patty there. So you want your burger, it's gonna shrink a lot, right? So you want it to be, I'd say roughly three quarters of an inch raw around your bun. So I just measure it out by holding the bun on top. You can see that needs to be a little bigger. Another important thing is to dimple the middle of your burger. Make a little dimple in there because as it cooks, it's going to shrink and you don't want it to ball up. You want it to shrink as it cooks and become flat, perfectly flat. 
so it cooks evenly. Okay, next step, we're gonna cook our burgers. I'm using my homemade rosemary salt on these. Amazing recipe, I use it literally on everything. You wanna learn how to make it, There's a, just click that link right there. It'll take you over to the video. Always some fresh ground black pepper on top. Now, seasoning can just fall off of a burger, right? I always do this, whether I'm doing a steak or a burger. Just pat it in with your hands. It's just gonna help it stick into the meat. So I've had this pan on for probably eight minutes on high heat. It's ripping hot, this is what you want. We're gonna put a little oil in here, but just like literally like a half a tablespoon. The lamb is really fatty, but we just want a little oil to start that process. So just a tiny bit on, that's it. That's all you need. Let it heat up with the oil for another minute and then we'll start cooking. So pan's ripping hot, oil's in. It looks like it's ready to go. Burgers down. Nice sear on these. So on the side that's unseasoned, same deal. Black pepper and rosemary salt. And always remember, season from up high, right? It really does help you get it even. So I've just got another pan going on over here, medium heat, that's to toast our brioche buns for the burger. So I've had these burgers going about two minutes on this side. I like to eat my lamb burgers like around medium, but if you wanna cook it all the way or medium well, I would leave them maybe three or four minutes on each side. So we're gonna go ahead and flip these. Some nice color going on. And continue to cook. Oh, Don't you do it, don't you dare. I think we're good, dude, I think we're good, I think we're good, I think we're good. Okay, so these burgers have been cooking for about three minutes on each side. We're gonna add our cheese and melt the cheese under the broiler. I'm going cheesy. So I'm using Moonster cheese for this. Just a great melting cheese, great on a burger. Straight into the broiler. So our cheese is nicely melted on our burgers. I would recommend getting them out of that pan and into, you could put them on a rack or whatever, or put a spoon underneath it, but it needs to rest like, like any piece of meat, any piece of fish, any steak, any roast. You let your burger rest, it's important. So we're gonna put a little bit of oil in our pan to toast the burger buns. You could also butter the bun with some room temperature butter and just put it down in the pan, either way works. So I'm using brioche buns for this. You can use whatever bun you like. I happen to love brioche. I think it makes a great burger. Into your pan, just kind of low to medium heat here. You don't wanna, brioche can burn really quick. So keep that heat down and we're gonna toast these for about two minutes. So, you know, while your burgers are cooking in the oven or melting the cheese on them, just make sure you have your fixings ready so that when the burgers come out of the oven, you're ready to build your burger. You want everything to be fresh. You want the bun to be toasted nice and warm the burger perfectly rested, and that's it. So when your buns are toasted, just flip them and just kiss that other side for like 10 seconds just to get the heat through the whole bun. And now we're gonna remove them. Get everything set and ready to build your burgers. I'll let the buns cool off just for like 30 seconds. Otherwise you might just melt your mayonnaise. So just let them cool ever so slightly. Okay, so we're gonna use my lemon garlic aioli recipe, which is just incredible. If you wanna learn how to make it, just click right there. I'll take you over to the video. So straight down some of your aioli, just using the back of the spoon to coat the bun. Oh, the bun feels so crispy and fluffy in the middle, awesome. You're gonna get a lot of flavor and also acidity that the burger needs from this aioli. Okay, now I'm gonna put a couple pickled onions down on the bottom. The color on these, by the way, is just fantastic. Looks phenomenal. Get your burger. Straight onto the bun. You see the burger was so big and now it just fits that bun perfectly. That's why you gotta measure it out beforehand. I'm gonna go with some more pickled onions right on top of the cheese. So we're using these pickled onions because you always gotta keep fat and acid in, in mind when you're cooking. It's so important because this is this acidity from the onions is gonna cut through all that fat from the ground lamb and from the cheese and just balance the whole dish out. Everything you've loved or ever eaten in life has followed this, trust me, it has. Now we're gonna finally put our butter lettuce on top. I just wanna kind of break it a little bit. Don't need too much top on. Now, final trick is just want to compress it ever so slightly. You're not going to smash it. This isn't smash burger. It's palm burger. We just use our palm. 
All right, let's have a look inside these burgers. Serrated knife, straight through, feel, looking good. Well, these look amazing, so let's give it a taste. All right. <clears throat> mm. So I know I said I like these medium. I overcooked them a little bit, but because this lamb is so fatty, they're just still so tender. You have the pickled onions that are just cutting through all that fat, the lemon garlic aioli for all the flavor. It's really balanced between the fat and acid, and every bite just keeps you coming back for more. Well, that's it for today, guys. If you liked the video, please hit that subscribe button below, and we'll see you next week.